Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here. Welcome to another episode of the Wolves Career Mode in FIFA 19. We have finished the first transfer window of the season and we made the biggest signing maybe potentially I've ever made in a career mode ever. The one and only Kylian Mbappe joined Wolverhampton Wanderers for $190 million. Absolutely insane number right there and it's about if you take the fact that he was signed for about 150, 160 million pounds, 190 mil, technically we got him for less than what PSG paid for him, but still, I was fully ready to prepare over to, to pay over 200 mil for him. Didn't have to, was kind of shocked, but now we have this insane front three. MSM is what I'm calling them for the moment. I ask you guys to vote and we'll, we'll come up with a, with a front three name in a while, but uh, so far I'm settling on MSM. And I have a team now that is just so damn strong that I, I know I don't have to make it any better at this point with the, like, I could make it better if I really wanted to. I've still got a little over 50, 60 something million in the bank and I could maybe spend it in January, but after getting Mbappe, that's just the, that's not even the, the full stop. That's the exclamation point on my transfer window. We have a game in the Premier League coming up against Swansea, but as you saw before in the calendar, only three days after this, we are going to be playing our first Champions League game. And like I said, we want to make sure that we are putting the focus on the Champions League this season. So I, no matter what the game preceding it, will always make sure I've got my best available team fit and ready to go for every Champions League game. So if it means I have to play a rotated side against uh, Premier League teams or in the FA Cup, Carabao Cup, however it is, then fine. That's what we're going to have to do. And that's what I will do for this game against Swansea. This is my backup team that you're going to be seeing quite a fair bit of. Going up against Swansea, skipping ahead, getting a 2-0 win. They did have the chance to get one back through Leroy Fair, but look at that starting 11. So you can see Patricio Walker-Peters, that centre-back partnership, Vinagre, Amati, Gibbs, White, Adelaide Price, David and Jota, they're the teams, they're the players that are going to be starting for me in this reserve team. You will see them play quite a fair bit. I almost, I almost like to think of we're a club with two teams now. We've got our starting 11 and our bench players that will pretty much be on the bench for quite a fair bit. We'll rotate a, a little bit. And then my starting 11 star lineup that I'm always going to make sure I have ready to play the big games. And this is why I want my best team available. Even for teams like Lokomotiv Moscow, I need to make sure my best team is ready. I will continue on now with player training. Yander Groot is nearly at a 99 with his short passing. It's absolutely madness. I, I'm not doing this adept attacking scenarios drill just because I want to train his short passing. I want to train his shot power as finishing and make him a better threat in front of goal, but the short passing is going to be ridiculous. And every other drill that we got ended it in a D or a C. My God, that's awful. But you can see why I've rotated the team. This is my second side with my reserve and squat and like a substitution play or sub players. Now I've got my fully fit team. Look at that. We can put a team that is that good on the park without playing a single one of my starting 11 players. This does mean that Kylian Mbappe is going to make his debut for us, not in the Premier League, but in the Champions League, away against Lokomotiv Moscow. This is his first game for Wolverhampton Wanderers, and if he, I would love for him to hit the score sheet, but I just want to... Uh, to showcase his talents to the world now in this new side and I really want to see what this man's about. My first game playing with him, I know no matter what happens, he's got to be brilliant. 93 overall, there's no way he can flop when he's that high a rating and he's only 22. He could actually probably get even higher. So let's go. This is Mbappe's first game for Wolves. We are also beginning our Champions League season right here right now with our first game in the group. And ladies and gentlemen, there he is. Oh my goodness, this is going to be crazy. Our opponents too, by the way, Lokomotiv Moscow, looking at some of the names that they have, if they've got anyone, and I, I can spot a few. I remember Howard S. Ed Dare as well as on the bench, you know that he's quite famous. Uh, you've got uh, Denisov and Kreshawa, yeah, oh, I'm not even going to try it, but yes, I know a few of the names in that team. But with our side, we have got to just romp them. We have got to just absolutely turn them over, and hopefully we can get Mbappe on the score sheet today in his debut. Almost feels like they're giving Mbappe a lot of attention today. That ball from Taliska was not good, and now I don't have a left back because Henderson had to, or Hernandez had to go and chase it. And thankfully, Taliska has gone back in his place. He's the one that gave it away, but what a ball there. Sharp and tear collects. Keep it going to the left-hand side. All right, good. I'm going to hope that this fullback will... Yeah, there we go. Sano gets in behind. Low pass into there. Good first time. Hit this one. And a save from Medev... Med... Oh, my God. Med... Medvedev. Medvedev. Yeah, that's right. There you go. All right, come on. 
Is this the first? Oh, it's the woodwork! And it has gone in! He's going to claim it, but he's got no right. Killing Mbappe. Well, it's not really his first goal. He hits the woodwork with his first shot, but it comes off the post, hits one of the locker body Moscow defenders. It would have been nice if that was how he got it, but nah, clearly an own goal. I respect... Oh my god, what a finish as well. What, what, what is he thinking? The defender like almost trying to kill it dead or is there some like match fixing going on? I'm not, uh, I don't know about. Oh my goodness. Well, you know, if we can't get Mbappe another chance to get a goal today, then uh, at least we will have that. We can te It's kind of like a goal on debut. It's like, I don't know. It, you can, it's, I don't know. It's, uh, it's two jokes. This time. That time! That's the time! Mbappe makes it too! This time it's his goal, this time he repeats his celebration, and this time it's actually going to be credited to him. Alright, we've got it out of the way. His goal on debut, to be fair, the gap was there, and it was, I suppose, the right thing to do. I was worried I was going to end up overplaying it. Look, he just had to stand there, side foot at home, just got past the defender, just passing it into the net. Simple stuff. So Kylian Mbappe this time has his goal and now we can just go about it. I don't have to try to get the ball to Mbappe for the entirety of this game now. Oh, Conte. It's opening up here. Could be another. It's gone through and it's three. Oh, the gap's in the defense right now. I just have to attack down the left-hand side, move it into the middle. I will have options. I can either let go like that with Neves or I can get it across to Mbappe. It's just every time. Step overs to cut in with uh, Lucas Hernandez. Conte, there's the gap. It, it's quite fortunate not to have been blocked, but the gap's always there for me to fire through. And wow, what a start. What a start to our Champions League campaign this is turning out to be. Oh, that's a good ball. And yeah, oh no, I thought it was in. They missed the header. The, anytime they get a cross in and it's that pinpoint, oh, it's not super pinpoint. He did have to work pretty hard for it, but in that situation, I just feel like I can see it all the time. But no, he's actually managed to miss. And half time. We are 3 0 up, 3 0 to the good. It's a good start so far, but um, yeah, I feel like we, toward the end of the first half, we're missing a few opportunities to extend our lead. So hopefully we can be a bit more clinical when the chances come in the second. Oh, he spilt it. He just did whatever he could, and I'm just going to clear that then. Sharp in tier. Even though we're leading 3 0, he's had a fair bit to do today. That's a good ball. Oh, the stop from Charpentier stretches out his legs and makes another stop and just about keeps it in as well. Oh, oh, fuck me. Come on. Oh, come on. This is just bullshit. Nah, he's not going to get in the way either. Yeah, there you go. I just... Oh, come on. Come on. How many fucking tackles? And, of course, Kim Pempe going to make the interception. It just goes over his leg. And I'm not controlling Akanji. I was just hoping he would come across and get in front. I'm trying to chase with Neves and, well, there, there you go. And charpentier has been so good, I'm really disappointed that he couldn't keep a clean sheet. All right, maybe now though. Maybe now though, Loftus-Cheek, holding him off. Right-hand side, no, oh, you're not taking long enough, or you're taking too long to get to Mbappe. Good, strong tackle by him though, to win it back. Conte, slide tackle, referee. Might not matter, dragged wide by Loftus-Cheek. There could be one more here, maybe. Maybe one more. There could be one. Maybe just the one. Bang. Why not go with it with Loftus Cheek? Oh my god! He, no one was closing him down, so I'm like, why not just let it go? Oh my, what a hit! I was just sort of standing there and observing and waiting to see what was going to open up. And look, I'm just literally sitting there. No one's closing me down. Gap opens up, and it's curling away! from the goalkeeper, finding its way into the top right-hand corner. This is unbelievable. That is just a gorgeous strike. He was literally just standing on the ball and just like, hmm, am I gonna do this? Am I gonna go for this goal or not? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Bang, top right-hand corner. What a way to just put the, the, the icing on the cake that is this game. That is an amazing hit. Absolutely brilliant. Mbappe gets a goal on his debut. It's a convincing 4-1 win. And yeah, wow. That's, that's one hell of a way to start your Champions League campaign and one hell of a way to start the killing Mbappe era at Wolverhampton Wanderers.
We also have a game against Inter Milan to play in the Champions League. And again, I want to make sure that I've got the fittest team available for that. So I'm probably going to sim the West Ham game and the Oldham game. Uh, I'm going to play my best team for the West Ham game. Maybe a rotated side for the Carabao Cup game. And I don't know, I'm going to have to mix things around for the Chelsea game. Because again, like I said, the Champions League gets priority. We are hoping to keep... We've actually won every single game in the Premier League, haven't we? It's an amazing win streak that we're on. Is it going to continue? You better believe it. Who else in that West Ham team, if anyone was going to score against me, it would be fucking Spinozola, but it's still going to be an L for him. And a three... There you go. 3-1 win for us. And now for the next game coming up, Old Ham. I think with a five-day break or a four or five-day break until the next game, I might even be able to play a pretty strong side for this one as well. It's just the Chelsea game I'm going to have to rotate for. So you know what? Let's let's do it then. I mean, it's only Oldham Athletic, and they're like, they're definitely not a championship side, so they're League 1, League 2 at best, and we're just going to, well, all right, we're just going to get the 3-1 win then, apparently. It's the same result that we got against West Ham, but I thought against a side like Oldham with my starting 11, we were going to rip them apart. But no, nah, that wasn't really the case, but we got the right result regardless. But okay, these next two games are the games I'll play that are remaining in, or that are remaining in September, Chelsea and then Inter. And here's the team I'm going with. It's still a pretty strong side, you can tell, but I, I've rotated out some of the players with... Uh, like not as good stamina. So like we have we have players in the team like Conte who clearly have unbelievable stamina. I think it's like 98 stamina. He can run every single game on one day break. I'm pretty confident. But uh, nah, for others like I don't know Taliska, who's only got about se the high 70s stamina. I had to take him out. Way is going to start because Martial's got the least stamina of my attacking three. Michele's in. Johnny's in. And actually, Charpentier, even though stamina doesn't really affect goalkeepers, he was actually down to like almost two-thirds of his stamina, which is crazy. You know, you don't really see that too often for a goalkeeper. So, we'll give Patricio a run in the Premier League. You know, why not? They are still the exact same overall after all, Rue, Patricio, and Arthur Charpentier. So, hey, why not give them a run again? They're both the exact same as each other. So, yeah, he's going to go in for this one. This is also going to be a pretty big game for N'Golo Conte because he will be going up against his old side, Chelsea. So, uh, Berkey is their goalkeeper. Lemire, Aspilicueta, Varane is in that Chelsea side and Emerson. Kagawa, Pasa... Uh, Pasa uh, one of them right there. I'm absolutely bottling it. Pasalic, whatever. Rabio, Masonda, Willian, Jose and Hazard's up forward. We have won every game in the Premier League so far, both played and simulated, and we will see if we can continue it at home against Chelsea. Conte intercept again. He's made a fair few of them already. I'm liking the look of that, you know. Way out, Sane runs right into trouble, and that ball just stuck to his foot. And what is Ricardo Pereira doing? And again, it's another poor turnover. They've had so many of them, Chelsea. Not exactly what I was looking for. Could still work, and it will work. It's Mbappe with the assist, but Way out picks up another goal off. Or well, he's normally getting one off the bench, isn't he? He starts in this one, and maybe he's showing that he should be playing and starting a few more games. I had to adapt to that whole scenario because it didn't really go out the way that I was planning it would. But thankfully, the pass across did get to Weyer, and Weyer stuck it away very nicely, you know. I mean, Berkey has got no chance getting to that one. Timothy Weyer, he's already picked up a couple of goals in the Premier League. That's actually his fourth so far after just seven games, and he hasn't started an awful lot either. He's come off the bench for the majority of his goals. And now, he might... Maybe get another one, it couldn't go. It was, a, it was going to be a pretty impressive through ball if that did find a way past him. Oh well, after that. Oh, it is going to get to Hazard. Kim Pempe can't clear. Johnny has to just do whatever he can. That just kept falling for Chelsea plays in that box. Hazard, another back heel. They're just busting them out right now, aren't they? All right, well, now we go. We accept the fullback, saw it coming. And I didn't see him, he wasn't in the picture. And now he's going all the way. I've had enough of him, please. I was about to snap him, and then he had to go and just put a shot wide. He's actually been very good there, right back. Oh, Conte made a little bump on him and then ran past the ball. And then another tackle, and again, finally, we get it. Oh, I can see Mbappe. He's not on side, and the end it actually goes to Wade. That'll help. Is Mbappe going to get in here? He will. Will he get a shot off? He will. He will get his goal. He fights and finds a way to get us 2-0 up with only, uh, what, a minute or so left to go in the or in the half. Mbappe was, uh, he was on for a much easier chance there, but we just found a way to get it to him, and he just found a way to get it past the defence and into the net. 2-0 right before half-time, that is an excellent result for us, especially since Chelsea were 
looking a bit threatening. They were. They are, I, I got a feeling that they might score against us in this game, even though, even if I really try to put emphasis on keeping things steady at the back, they've been good. They've had chances. They've had shots. Keeper's been tested. I don't know. We've just got to make sure that we're nice and sturdy at the back. Oh my God, he was offside, but did you see the save from Patricio? Wow, not bad. In the end, the shot was deflected by Rabio, so that's, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure that uh, Patricio would have had it covered anyway, especially going off of his save that he took after Hazard. It deflected right back to him. That was unbelievable. We are now about an hour or so into the game, and we have to think about, of course, the game against Inter Milan to come, so I'm going to take off Sano, who, to be fair, has been absolutely pocketed all game long by their uh, unknown right back. Chelsea's unknown right back, Ly uh, Lymer, or Lymer, or how it pronounce it. So Martial can come in, delivering in a cross. Mbappe's the one that's going to get onto that. Not, not what we want. Let's, uh, let's try it again. Something a bit better, maybe. Martial's header. Oh, nearly. Down the line here. Kennedy. Crossed in. That's oh, cleared away, thankfully, by Kim Pempe. Knocked up forward. Wire. Martial, if he continued his run, no. Mbappe, oh, there you go. There you go, right up the middle. And Martial, he will put the icing on the cake. I like that saying, don't I? I'm getting to say it a lot. And it's going to be Martial to tuck, it, to tuck it home and make it 3-0. Look at this through ball from bloody killing Mbappe. The run that was made by Martial pretty late, cutting uh, into the inside or running inward. I'm like, oh, I don't know if this will get through or not. But Mbappe found a way, and there you go. Berkey is beaten. The captain, Neves, is going to come off as well for Fernando too. So now that we've got our 3-0 lead, I am just going to rest the most tired players in my usual starting 11 and make sure they're as fit as they can be for the Inter Milan game. And one last change. Mbappe's done his part today. A goal and assist. He's been great, but Yandegru can come on in his place. You're a fucking idiot, Ricardo Pereira. Where are you going? Why are you running that far up the pitch for? when you just should be keeping your shape. I didn't tell you to do that. It's unbelievable. And now look. Oh, they are going to get one. A fucking idiot, Ricardo Pereira. Why are you keeping your shape like that, you moron? And you, you moron. Why are you running to your manager when you're 3-1 down and you've lost the game? Oh, hang on a minute. Did I just call Kennedy a Newcastle player a moron? No, I didn't mean it. But uh, again, I think it's gone through the legs of Kim Pempe. Very frustrating once again. It's either him or... No, it isn't. And it hasn't gone through. It's gone through the gap between the goalkeeper and the... And the defender, man, 3-1. It's going to be a 3-1 result. That's three 3-1 wins for me in a row now. We definitely could be keeping a lot more clean sheets. That's for sure. I mean, even though I've brought in so many star players and so many brilliant defenders, I'm still leaking goals regardless. But I don't know. We, we'll, we'll pick up our clean sheets whenever we can get them. But the most important thing is that we get wins, which is what we're doing. 3-1 victory here against Chelsea. And that is, what, six or seven wins in a row now in the Premier League. We are on fire. And I thought Mbappe only got one assist and one goal in that game. No, he actually assisted the other goal as well. So it's one goal and two assists. What a performance by Mbappe in his last two games. I was going to say, you know, Mbappe's only played four games, yet he's got two goals and two assists. So he's good for a goal or an assist every single game now. And I tell you what else, um, Timmy Weyer is currently on nine goals and two assists after just 12 appearances. He's actually made the most appearances out of any other player, probably because he either he just comes off the bench all the time for either uh, Sane or Martial, since he can play at striker or left wing. And he's got nine goals and two assists. I genuinely now think I might have to start giving this guy a few more games because Martial, in nine appearances, has only got the three goals and the one assist. That's not bad or anything, but I Tony, like Timmy Weyer, that's unbelievable numbers. I'll tell you what, I've decided to just keep it exactly how it is, you know, so the bench and the starting 11 remains the same. If, if a player is at least less than two-thirds of his stamina tight. If he has less than two-thirds of his stamina, then I'll take them out, whether they're in the starting 11 or on the bench. And even though Way is pretty close to that mark, now nah, we'll keep him there regardless. So yeah, strongest starting 11, best team possible once again. Even though everyone's not completely fit and ready to go, it's still a solid team with plenty of stamina for most of the players. So we should be right. First game of the Champions League season at Molyneux Stadium. We got as far as the semi-finals last time. Hopefully we can go one better. This, this stadium right here saw Real Madrid and Barcelona in, in the same damn season. That is something else. Now they get to go us, uh, watch us go up against Inter. 
And still with a few decent names in there too. I'm pretty confident uh, Nangaland's still there, Akadi's there, and some others as well. He's not going to get out of that. There's no fucking way. Look how many players we have there. Look how many. Oh my god. We still couldn't come up with it. We had three players on him and he finds a way to just boot it upfield. What a ball. What a ball. And the shot got underneath the legs of Akanji. Thankfully, Sharp here makes the save. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's not what I wanted. And in the end... Uh, I didn't expect it to bounce over his head. I was holding down A to contain, and then I think it just ended up passing the ball upfield because of it. So, there you go then. But another turnover maybe here. Yes, we are away once more. Sane going to go quick to Mbappe, or maybe even to Martial. If we go really fast, if we get it back for Sane, which we do, is he going to get... No, he's not. Man, how do they still keep us covered like that? From the resulting corner, Kimpempe turns around. He's got his back turned, and yeah, it's not a good effort again. Oh, what a save from Charpentier. The defender that was on Akadi left him to try to head the ball, but it went over the top of him. Kim Pempe again making a wrong decision. He is really, really doing some fucking shit that's gonna, that costs me a lot in almost every single game. He's 88 rated, man. But thankfully, he gets bailed out by a great save by Charpentier. There it is. Oh, there it is. That has been coming. It has been coming and coming all goddamn game. 30 minutes or a little over 30 minutes in, they get the first goal. I think, I don't know who crossed it into Perisic, but he makes it 1-0 for Inter. Let's remember as well, too, what a ball. That, uh, yeah, that's Icardi who goes in and crosses it. I just went in for the tackle instead of just staying in front. Not good. And Perisic, even though uh, Sharpentier has been great, he can't stop this one. Nah, not, not going to have a goal in for not stopping that. Absolutely not. And I am not going to have enough time to... Get the ball forward, I know that, so we'll just hold on to it. 1-0, and it's so deserved. Inter Milan have completely been just dominant in this game. I have not done shit to them. That is concerning, considering we have won every single game up to this point. In every competitive game, we have won. And now, we might potentially lose it. If I can at least pull one back, get a point, and maybe I can say I've remained undefeated, that would be nice, but... No, this, this is just, it's been completely different to any other game that I have played so far today. There's a shot from McCarty, blocked, and out for a corner. That's good, though. That is really good. He'll surely be able to straighten up here, Sane. Surely. No, they still get back. Even when he was that, th he was that far in. Went for the shot, and it's his shin that blocks it. And come on. Cross. Sane's going to have a chance at it. Oh, blocked on the goal line by uh, uh, Chilwell. And they headed away. And it's going to find Akadi as well. Man, picked off by Neves. It's there, mate, please. That's just what's going on. What's going on? I'm a fucking joke at the moment. And look, on the counter-attack after that, they played that brilliantly. Sharp end here. Thankfully, the shot's right at him. God, this boy is keeping me in it. Come on. Back heel. Sane. Conte. Neves, there it is! Finally, finally, finally! We haven't even taken that many shots in this game, let alone... Oh my god, finally, finally! Neves letting fly from just outside the box, and we have tied this thing up. Just taking our time with it, along the edges of the box, Neves taking that extra touch, man. I, I just knew, I, I thought it was for sure going to get picked off because of that extra touch, but... No, he just about got his shot off, and that is really well placed. They're going pretty quick here. Come on, Lucas Hernandez. That's not on. Needed to stop the cross there. Didn't. Header. It's won by Neves. Flicked on for Weyer. The defender comes out. Loftus cheek. Mbappe. Are we going to get him away here? Yes, we will. Where are my options? Where's Weyer? He's not holding his run. Mbappe! That is really not good enough. That is outside of the boot and straight at the keeper when I wanted him to take it with his other foot. But what an interception. It won't fucking matter again. How many times do you make tackles and interceptions and just never get rewarded for it? Or oh, miss that tackle. Kim Pempe blocked. Whacked away by Ricardo Pereira. This might end up working for us. No, it's going to bounce too high above Martial's head or above Mbappe's head. And only a few minutes to go. They'll belt it forward. The keepers come out for it. Sharp end here. Wow, that's some initiative. Throwing it up for Sane. Sane's pass 
It's nowhere near Timothy Weyer. We don't deserve to win this game, even if we get the chance. We've missed the tackle there, through the legs. Can we go quick? We won't have time. Nah, we don't deserve to win that game. I'm glad we have kept our undefeated streak this season going. We are yet to lose a game, but we did not deserve to win that. So I think a draw is... I'll take, you know, I'll take the draw. That's that's fine. Because if I had gotten three points there, I'd, I'd have felt guilty, you know. That's just, it, w it wouldn't have been on. But all right, we just about find a way to keep our undefeated season going and we have still yet to taste defeat this season. A little bit of player training just to finish this episode off and that's much, much better. A's all over the place. Three of them are B and a C. More of that, please. And we'll also end this episode on the first of the new month and hopefully, maybe, with the new scouting updates coming through, one or two decent signings that we can actually bring in. I picked up the Manager of the Month award as well, which is nice. Hopefully, we'll get a lot more of those in the future, but let's see who my scouts have found. No one, it looks, in Argentina. No one's immediately jumping at me right there. How about in Russia? Again, no, there's only one player with a max overall of 60. That's just not good enough. And in England, oh my goodness me, these are the players I, and you know who I'm talking about here, Will Phillips. We'll see what his potential is. Please be good. Ah, uh, yeah. You'd hope the minimum potential would be a little higher than just 70, but that, this is the player that I am talking about. Like, the guy that, the second you see him, you go, yeah, I need this guy immediately, but what's his value? It's 850. Hell yeah, sign him up straight away. It's those players. They're the ones that I'm looking for. He's a 63 rated center attacking midfielder. Everyone in my youth squad right now are center attacking, or should I say, they are midfielders or wingers right now. So I don't have any defenders, any strikers, goalkeepers. I'm hoping to get a little bit more, uh, I was about to say diversity, but yeah, technically diversity, but in different positions, you know what I mean. It's just, I, I, I'd like it to be a little bit more of a complete squad. But all right then, we have unfortunately failed to win our first game this season, but next episode, we will continue off in October, the next game that we have is actually against Watford, so it's going to be the man that we sold to get uh, Kylian Mbappe, and that is Adama, since we sold him off to Watford. So it'll be Adama versus Mbappe. That'll be a battle. Till then, my name's Masterbucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good one.